Hey guys, how you doing? This is Pete over at modersub.co.cc and today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, make a little um, a script that will make your character, uh, somebody hit your character just once. Um, so, I'm sure this is over. But, uh, so I'm just going to pick number 4. He's going to attack me once. or won't attack me anymore, but I can't talk to him anymore. Alright, um... Let me show you guys how to do that. So, alright, so I need to close that. Okay. Alright, so what you need to do is first start off by opening up Kotor tool. Go into your text editor and script this for, then pick the Kotor version that you make in the script for. Alright, then what we're going to do is we're going to type in void main. Alright, and um, I'm going to go ahead and open up a brace. You can put this down here and leave it up here. No, we just leave it up here. Uh, void main is the function that starts off the uh, script. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to type in objects. And then we're going to type in the variable. Uh, let's put OMPC equals get object by tag. Alright, and then you're going to put in a character. Uh, Character name here for uh, their template resref. In this case, Egon. Uh, so you saw him like that little scene there. Um, okay, and now we're going to go ahead and type in. Um, well, I guess I go go ahead and explain this. Uh, object right here. This is the uh, data type. If you want to learn more about data types, go to you. Uh, the rights in the description and it gives you all the data types that you can use. Uh, this is a complex data type um, and it explains it a little bit more in the syntax of uh, the 5TK102 and Luke's forms. Uh, OMPC is the variable and variables are static so I can change this to anything I want. Uh, I can change it to something extremely long or keep it OMPC, which is what I'm going to do. Get object by tag. This right here is uh, a function, all right, and inside it is the value uh, or is the tag. So basically, the function tells uh, us that it's going to get the object by its tag, which in this case is egon, all right. And this equal sign makes this function become a value. So it's the value of OMPC, the object OMPC. Alright, uh, the next thing we're going to do is type in assign command. Alright, which is also a function. As you can see, if I can here, assign command, you can just double click these and they pop up on the screen. Alright, and um, now, really quick, I'm going to go explain this dialog down here. Basically, what this does is it tells you um, what the function does. And right here, where you see object, O action, and subject. Um, this just tells you that it needs an object, which in this case is OMPC, and all you have to do is put in the uh, NPC, alright, and it's the action subject, so it's what the action is about. Alright, so OMPC, put in a comma, and now we need to type in an action. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and type in, um, well, we'll just do action tag, so it's the same thing as I just showed you. Alright, and now we're going to do get first PC alright and get first PC uh, just means that it's going to get the player character which is you um, once it sees you it's going to go ahead and uh, or that's what the script is going to attack in this case um, now we're going to do B passive and we're going to put two parentheses because each parenthesis is a set as you can see, these parentheses go into there, and then these two come all the way across here. Um, Alright. Uh, oh yeah, that's something else I want to explain real quick, which I believe is in the syntax thread uh, that I posted the link in the description. But uh, each set of parentheses uh, is always, it's always a set. So if you have these, always a set, always a set, always a set, always a set. Uh, so that way you know that you have it closed and such. Alright, and now what we have to do is we have to define the integer for B passive, which is false. 
Alright, so we go int b passive equals false. And you have to make sure that all these things are capitalized in the correct places and all have punctuation uh, where they need to be. Otherwise, they won't work properly. Alright, um, now what you're going to do is you can just go up the script and click compile, and it'll automatically ask you to save. And we're going to save this as the attack NSS. Click OK. And there we go. That's saved. And you don't get any errors, as you can see. Um, and that's it. Hope you guys liked this tutorial. Uh, if you did, post a comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I'll have more tutorials out soon. If you have questions, post it in the comments. I check comments all the time. Uh, or you can send me a personal message, private message. Um, Alright, hope to see you guys in the next videos.